to those who prepare experiments on science and technology leads to considerable problem making. HR 44 and 6 were authorized the action and steer experiments in technology with increasing efforts in support of the integration of health care information enterprises in the United States. HR 3877 the Communications Technology Innovation Act, and HR 1844, the National Ocean Exploration Program Act. And as we start with me, I want to welcome back my friend, one of my good friends, and the inspiration and the board, particularly the health care, Dr. Gary Sun. As we point out here today, we just go by and we miss this very tough man, Mike, uh, Mike had a Thank you. 
it's under the stretch of the end. Here's the stretch.
Mr. Chairman, 20 members vote aye. I'm sorry, 13 members vote aye and 20 members vote no. Thank you. The uh, amendment failed. So we'll get to amendment failed. But let me just quickly say, we spent a lot of time on we were smart over the four part of the bill. It was not we had spent months on the rest of it. And uh, that's why we're back here. We're here to get this bill and now we're finally taking a look at it. This was structured last summer and we will continue to make it go on um, until it is approved. We're ready to now turn it over to the other committee. I want to thank Sarah and I for our staff. Thank you, Your Honor, Senator. Your Honor, Senator. Your Honor, Senator. Your Honor, Senator. Your Yes, I would like to move forward to the committee. Uh, the clerk will call the roll. Chairman Gordon. Chairman Gordon votes aye. Mr. Costello. Mr. Costello votes aye. Mr. Johnson. Ms. Woolsey. Ms. Woolsey votes aye. Mr. Hugo. Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu votes aye. Mr. Baird. Mr. Baird votes aye. Mr. Miller. Mr. Lipinski. Mr. Lipinski votes aye. Mr. Lanson. Mr. Lanson votes aye. Mr. Giffords. Ms. Giffords votes aye. Mr. McNerney. Mr. McNerney votes aye. Ms. Richardson. Ms. Richardson votes aye. Mr. Kiljorski. Mr. Kiljorski votes aye. Ms. Cooley. Ms. Cooley votes aye. Mr. Rothman. Mr. Rothman votes aye. Mr. Matheson. Mr. Matheson votes aye. Mr. Ross. Mr. Ross votes aye. Mr. Chandler. Mr. Chandler votes aye. Mr. Cardinal. Mr. Cardinal votes aye. Mr. Malasa. Mr. Malasa votes aye. Mr. Neal. Mr. Neal votes aye. Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell votes aye. Mr. Wilson. Mr. Hall. Mr. Hall votes no. Mr. Spencer Brown. Mr. Lamar Smith. Mr. Roy Barker. Mr. Roy Barker votes no. Mr. Barker. Mr. Ehlers. Mr. Ehlers votes no. Mr. Lucas. Mr. Lucas votes no. Mrs. Bigger. Mrs. Bigger votes no. Mr. Aiken. Mr. Aiken votes no. Mr. Bonner. Mr. Feeney. Mr. Feeney votes no. Mr. Nagabala. Mr. Nagabala votes no. Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis votes no. Mr. Reichert. Mr. McCall. Mr. McCall votes no. Mr. Pierre Bola. Mr. Pierre Bola votes no. Mr. Kingy. Mr. Kingy votes no. Mr. Gilbert. Mr. Adrian Smith. Mr. Adrian Smith votes no. Mr. Brown. Uh, Mr. Udall is not reporting. Mr. Udall votes aye. Is there any division that we got that has not been reported? Is it because she wants to have uh, the clerk to report? Mr. Chairman, 21 members vote aye and 13 members vote no. Thank you, Chairman. Amendment passes. Are there any other amendments? There is no other amendment. Let me go to bail. H.R. 2046 is amended. I vote in favor say aye. I have. I'm opposed say no. In the present chair, the ayes have it. I recognize Mr. Ramson to vote for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move that the committee favors report H.R. 2406 as amended to enhance the recommendation that the bill be passed. Bill Warren has moved that the staff be instructed to prepare the legislative report and make necessary changes and compliant changes, and that the chairman take all necessary steps to bring the bill before the House for consideration. The question on the motion to report the bill favorably. Those in favor of the motion will signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The bill be released to make reporting. No objection. The motion to amend the signature on the front of the desk. Uh, members will have two subsequent calendar days in which to submit supplemental audio or video views on the measure. Ended Monday, October 29th at 9 a.m. I move to shortly require the quorum of Rule 22 of the Rules of the House of Representatives that the committee authorize the chairman to offer such motion that may be necessary if the House will vote to pass. H.R. 2406 to authorize the National Mosquito Standard for Technology to increase its effort in support of the operation of a health care information enterprise in the United States is admitted. No objection. So ordered. We now consider H.R. 13877, the Night Communications Technology Foundation Act. I yield the gentleman from Utah, Mr. Matheson. Mr. Matheson is trying to speak. So thank you, uh, Chairman Gordon, for allowing us to have a chance to make your objection and refer to her comments on this matter. Ms. Matheson. 
conversation is very important to me because uh, I've been working on the after that for years past, and I'm trying, trying to tell you my observation of this thing. Uh, I think what I remember from August 6th was six miners were trapped in about two weeks, brought back to Bowling Green Tunnels, where they were working more than 18 and a half feet underground. During the rescue attempt at Bob, three of the traps were shot down the ground, two were shot in the face, the rubble, two were shot out in the water, and one was killed in June and rescued in June. So, now, one of the most difficult aspects of the training of training mine collapse is not knowing when to train mine and when not to train mine. The main thing is to train the work out to the families, the miners, and the guy in the rescue. But they can never really know what you want. At times, you can remember that when this first day of scenario where multiple holes are being drilled down to the surface, but it was clear that it wasn't going exactly as planned as the crowd might have wanted. Children and children were trying to decide to marry. And that got up in our thought frustration to talk about thinking we could communicate the images from the site to the surface of Mars. We can't seem to get communication established with this mine up there the ground. Mines generally have a lot of the communication systems in place. Uh, and most mines are probably going to implement this in a pretty technologically difficult way. The problem is the ones that have had to get in place are radio signals from the mine site that don't exist. This is a test to say if the radio station is designed to have communication or not. But because of the challenges of the mind drive and the limited nature of the market, much of the technology that might have been adopted was not commercially available. So <clears throat> this led to great legislation to accelerate the development of innovative next generation mind tracking and communications technology. My legislation mind can act as a key standard for technology to establish an initiative to promote the reach of the world to demonstrate that mind is connected and communication systems and to promote the establishment of standards on the measure of services for mind and the mind. Um, as the chairman of the committee on this remarks at start this hearing, this, this, is, this is an area that's probably going to be probably going to be it's, it's not a clear job of change jurisdictions in the house on the right people by the of nations. Um, I think it's a critical issue that ought to be addressed in order to better protect our mind and have confidence in Canada and that number of opportunities and cooperation with us throughout the entire process. Thank you, Mr. Vice and Director Ashley Shaw for presenting the remarks. Mr. Chairman, I'm not going to do this very exactly what you did. So I'm going to do the work that I'm going to do the last few minutes of this hearing. But as a total blend of this mess, I have been asked to just move the right standard for communication systems. And so I think that the legislation is best practices for this kind of measure of tracking and aspects of that measure. Uh, this law was amended with substantial specifics for the health and safety of mines, specifically the act of non-regulating the communication systems to the technology as it could be meant to be. It was characterized in my uh, environment as the gentleman plus 10 minutes to adopt changes to the existing commission. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me address 
fancy translation, formalized as the Bible's word for anyone who has a great exit in the most exploration of science and any curious paper or board of that ever, because uh, it has the same foundation of faith that a land seeks with a bird of intelligent science exploration. This sounds about to me as well, but Mr. Science seems to think the fullness of the translation and will be advised to be a man of faith. We will continue to work with our colleagues uh, in academics. This is going to be the place to build for the board in that region. I love that answer, Mr. Barlow. Thank you again for your words. Thank you. 
Thank you. 